Hello and welcome to a full 2021 month by month energy and star sign reading or a month by month full breakdown. So what we will do, <laughs> can't talk, what we will do is we look at your star sign, your individual star sign, month by month by month and see what we can um, ascertain about 2021. Um, to give you, in a way, not only a better idea of what's to come, but also hopefully equip you by giving you a uh, heads up um, with ideas how to prepare, or, uh, yeah, it's probably the best way to say it, uh, how to prepare for situations that, that, that may arise, okay? What will happen is this. As you know, if you are um, a subscriber or a regular viewer, everything has an overall energy. And so before we go into your star sign and look at months by months by months what's going on, we will still have to look at the overall energy, which is what we're doing now. Now, the overall energy for 2021 applies to all star signs. So should you be a person that says, I'm that star sign, and then I'm going to watch this for my friend, who is that star sign, um, you will notice that the overall energy video, this, this little clip before we go into the individual star signs, has been used for all the 12 star signs, because the overall energy simply doesn't change <laughs> for uh, from star sign to star sign. What does change is obviously the energy within the star sign. Speaking of which, um, the monthly um, videos that we do, uh, well, I should probably rephrase that, the weekly videos that I normally record with or without guests will continue because as nice as this is to have a look at projecting based on the energy that the guides give us, um, when we do um, a weekly video, it is a tad more specific and maybe a tad deeper so don't miss this please subscribe please share um, if that makes sense so and now we're looking at the overall energy for 2021 since this is a long year um, we're gonna break this up a little so we're looking into what the energy of the year is actually going to be like and see what the guides tell us <clears throat> because it might just change again uh, with the seasons and then we look into um, all the other things like, you know, what, what can you expect uh, with um, regards to any uh, business ventures you want to undertake, um, love, and then whatever else the guides bring, bring up, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at what we can expect from 2021 to begin with, if that makes sense, right? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, 2021, energetically speaking, feels or will be actually much better than 2020. Well, that's easy because 2020, by all accounts, was absolute shit. <laughs> right? So, here's what the guys tell us about 2020. What they're asking us to do is to remember that as someone spiritual, you will have realized already that you create your energy and if you make life the best it can be, that also filters down to anyone and everyone you meet. And that's what the guides are saying to you. In 2021, new portals will actually open. This will be a much more spiritual year. This will be a year where we connect much better to our guides, which is also needed because don't be a sheeple. Seriously, pay attention. Feel what's going on, uh, on on the planet, right? And bring your energy to the world to um, counterbalance any panic that you see around you, you know, um, the negativity that, that, that is sort of unfortunately happening in this, in this world. Really, really important, but new doors will be open, will be opening, really, really important. 
And when new doors are open, you still have to decide whether or not you want to walk through. And that's what the guides are saying. Be a bit of a wild card in 2021. Try new things because they will be rewarding and you will be rewarded, if that makes sense. It sounds a bit weird, but that's just how my guides phrase it, for your bravery. So, and then the most important thing as the energy for 2021 is for all of us, including myself, everybody, you know, it's the overall energy, you know, is to, so this is what the, what, what the, 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 the card says, and I think it's quite nice, surrender to the sweetness of life. So you create your own energy, keep your energy high, love life, embrace life, and bring that energy to 2021. Um, it's not really rocket science, but what they're saying to you is, or to us is, and we will have a look obviously uh, a little bit deeper into 2021 in a minute, but because the overall energy tells us that it is up to us individually to bring about an energy shift, it's not the easiest thing to do. And, and where do you start? You start with yourself. You start with saying like, yay, life is great. And you do all your weird things that crack you up. Really important if you, you know, have reasons to crack up in the morning. I've been doing this for years. I just do something silly in the morning and it cracks me up. No end. <laughs> and um, and it, 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 it works for me. Because 2021, energetically speaking, is actually a year of pleasure. A year of joy, which we so badly need. Now, that doesn't mean that the, the governments of this world um, won't continue uh, scaremongering, you know, rolling out vaccinations and scaring the shit out of people, <laughs> right? Or coming up with new restrictions. <clears throat> Who knows? The point the guides are making is, even though you may not be able to change what a country, let's just say, imposes on you within all that, you can make an awful lot of change. And they're saying to you, the higher your energy is, the more joy you feel. Um, and, and 2021 will support that. This is a year of joy. So it's like, yeah, and we got this. And so the energy will be reflecting that very idea of, of having f fun, having joy, having pleasure. Because that creates high energy. And the higher the energy, the easier it is to make changes, to bring changes to the life <coughs> we're all living, or to the lives we're all living, right? So the reason why this is a bit vague is because everything is always in flux. So when people say like, oh, that's, that's definitely what's going to happen in 2021, my experience is that you can never really uh, say like, that's definitely what's going to happen because you, ha you also have free will. You could, personally, decide against it. If that makes sense. So this is overall energy. And again, within it, you have to see what's what's going on. Um, it will be much clearer. We'll get much clearer, I suppose, um, when we look at the individual star signs anyway. Um, when we look at, you know, what's, what's going on there. But let's just have a look at certain things for 2021. And people somehow, you know, somehow feel, seem to be really interested in... in in their their businesses oh, i want to be more successful and i get that but success is a weird thing in that it doesn't necessarily define you what it probably brings you is this financial stability and maybe allows you to do what you want to do and that's all good and we're going to look at this but energetically speaking it is much more important that you as a spiritual being trapped in a body <laughs> so to speak um, have a sense of belonging and a sense of being loved so let's just look at what 2021 holds for us on a on an emotional level um, with regards to To yeah, yeah, to being to, to love and being to being loved, right? So we have the totem, the dove, and the cat. Interesting, because remember, in the beginning of this um, 
video, the guides were saying that new portals are opening and that it is important that you make it your, your own. And totem, for want of a better word, means family, means tribe. So 2021 is the year, and this is awesome, where you will find your tribe and where should you have already found it. Relationships within your tribe are much better, which also means that relationships on a love, uh, um, love level um, will get much more solidified, which is really, really good. And there's a couple of interesting things because you have the dove and, and the cat. So what they're, oh, this is again, you know, you have free will, that's, so that's why I see this as a suggestion. Um, even, but it's based on the fact that the energy supports that. Because we have the dove and the cat with regards to love and being loved and belonging somewhere, right? Be peaceful. Don't argue because it's a, dif it's a difference between mm, speaking your mind, speaking your truth, expressing yourself and getting irate and angry and upset about it, which ultimately lowers the energy a little. Well, if, there, if an argument is heated or, or, com or even a conversation is heated, energy always suffers a bit. <laughs> but what they're saying is in 2021, just pay attention to your energy at all times. And because we're talking about love and being loved and the feeling of, you know, how do I, how do I, how do I keep this up? How do I make sure that the person I love is supported by me? And the person I love or the people I love support me. And this may or may not be surprising to some of you because we have the cat. And what they're saying is in any relationship, and that includes work, but we're not talking about work now, we're talking about love. In any relationship, it is important that you remain yourself. And because you have the cat, what they're saying is, do your own thing as well, right? Make time for relationships. I also have the feeling we have to sort of, in a way, prioritize our relationships. So it's not that you can just do whatever the heck you want, well, you could, but you know, you do whatever the heck you want and then you wonder why the relationship is falling apart. So they ask me to pay attention to the, to the needs, if that makes sense, of the relationship. You know, maybe it is important that the, the, the people or the partner you're with um, needs a bit more of your time, right? So give that. At the same time, the cat is basically saying to you, if you are a person that has a hobby, if you are a person that, that um, works spiritually and therefore, you know, or, or, or even if you work as, as anything, <laughs> um, that is sort of your thing, sort of self-employed. Um, or if you work for the better for the betterment of people, society, you know, all that kind of stuff, you will need time to look at what you're doing, um, <clears throat> fire, you know, come up with new ideas, all these kind of things. So what the guides are saying is, be the cat, remove yourself at times, and because this is your energy for the year, your partner will very likely or should really do the same and you can expect them to understand that you can't sit 24 7 uh, every single day with them on the couch and cuddle as nice as this is because you have a life to live and there are certain times in your life where the way you plan your life and the things you do in life may not meet the interests of your partner. And so this is not about compromising. This is about saying like, okay, I, this is what I enjoy doing as well. And just make space for this and um, be, be upfront about it. Don't try to hide something and don't try to, um, you know, don't let this become an issue, if that makes sense. But it is important that you have a little bit of, well, actually, because we have to get more than just a little bit of um of self-sustained me time within your relationships right okay so that's really 
that's 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 really well, yeah, what it is for twenty twenty one with regards to love. We quickly go into <coughs> work and business and all these kind of things. My feeling is I don't want to do half an hour just on the overall energy because that can be tedious in the fact that it is much more interesting to you if we look at your star sign and what it will bring months by months by months. But it is important to overall see if there's actually opportunities coming or not. So we're looking at opportunities for 2021 with regards to anything that is um, related to um, work and income and all that kind of stuff. And what the guides are saying to you is that we have to, you have to, you ought to balance spirituality and practicality. So you are a spiritual person and new opportunities will come to you because your energy is, is powerful, is awesome. But you have to also learn to realize that um, sitting under a tree doing um, hugging 25,000 trees is awesome, but it doesn't sustain you with regards to, you know, paying rent and all that kind of stuff. And what they're saying is, but balance it out. Best case scenario, and this has always been my take on it because I've had this life where I worked in many massively big companies um, and then I've been fully, full-time self-employed since 2009. Before that, I was part-time self-employed, if that makes sense. But since 2009, I've been not, I, I haven't been doing anything else but what I came here to do. So I feel incredibly blessed and that's what the guides are saying is if 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 you find it difficult to balance out spirituality and practicality then 2021 because this is one of the opportunities that they're talking about is the year where if you focus on that's what i want to do i want to be that person i want to be me then that's what the guides will support and then we have and this is interesting surrender to the divine says it all, trust that there is no coincidence, trust that your life has purpose, trust that there's guides around you that help you with everything. So don't get too upset about things. There will always be a million, a million and one ways to tweak things and to get somewhere. But with regards to opportunities that lead to... Um, a more secure life, if that makes sense. What the guides are saying is surrender to the divine opportunities will arise. Look at them for what they are. And first and foremost, um, remember we're living in a world where a lot of people really, unfortunately, are not all that awake. Um, they don't feel themselves, don't understand what is out there in the universe that could help them. They don't ask for guidance. They don't ask for help. And you are a person that has that down to a T. And so what the guides are saying is you're not here to save everybody. Even if you do spiritual work for a living, you can only offer if people take it, that's fine. If they ultimately are not there yet, there's not much you can do or should be doing because people have to be ready before they take that journey, if that makes sense. And all you can do is provide that lifeline that gets them there. So <clears throat> that's what, the, what, what, what 2021 is energetically. Um, what I'm getting is before we, we sort of close down the overall energy and go into your individual uh, year, is to realize that spirituality being the best version you can be is exactly what is needed for 2021. And I believe, based on the energy that I'm getting, this is really about a counterbalance, creating a counterbalance to all the things that are happening in the world. You know, everybody, I think the only topic really in 2020 was, was, was bloody COVID, right? And um, all that kind of stuff, which obviously puts a big damper 
dampener on all of us. And then look at how many businesses have suffered because of it. Look how many restrictions there are. Um, people become more isolated and have become more isolated, which is not good, if that makes sense. And that's what the guy said earlier. Tribe. You will find your tribe and you are part of the tribe. And so you, with your high energy, allow your tribe to do more than they were able to previously. So overall, the energy of 2021 is really high and it's a kick-ass energy. It's like do energy. It's not a do or die energy, but it's an energy where, they, where they're saying like, you know, we're sending you opportunities, but if you can sit there, I can't see them. Yeah, well, then you can't see them, right? Be proactive, be out there, have high energy, right? Do things and doers always do best, okay? So that was the overall energy. Remember, you will see this little clip for all or for all in, in all the 12 videos for the star signs because the overall energy applies to all star signs, therefore never changes, right? So, okay, that was that. And now we're looking into your own months by months breakdown, if the, for want of a better word, of your individual star sign. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Hello, Taurians. We're looking at your star sign now. I almost didn't record it because while I was setting up the recording thing, well, look what came through the letterbox. Yay! I'm a big car, a big, big fan of Vince Clark and Erasure. Anyway, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to read this in a bit. <laughs> Let me just get a sip and then we start. So, Taurians, Tauruses, let's look at your 2021 months by month, starting with January. January 2021, for Taurians, what the guides are saying to you, there's still a part of you that is hiding, There's still a part of you that probably got knocked about in 2020. A lot of things that people were hoping that would happen didn't really happen. <clears throat> a lot of people suffered uh, financially as well. And so what the guides are saying to you is to stop hiding. Uh, hiding is the wrong word. It just feels like, you know, you're still like, um, is this ever going to get better? La, la, la. You know, and even though this is a fair question, energetically speaking, it is a question that is asked with doubt. <sighs> is this ever going to get better? Right? So, who are you asking? <laughs> right? And what the guides are saying is, do the best you can on your own terms, but stop hiding. Really, really important for you to now say, yeah, I'm not going to kickstart my career, my love life, my life in short, again. Because you have the Coyote as one of your uh, spirit guides for January. And what the message is, is that the Coyote is a skilled scavenger. So what the guides are saying is, even though the world is not going like, yay, 2021, ah, right? <laughs> you will be fine. There's always enough for you to go around. You will just be fine. But... Stop procrastinating, stop hiding your skills. Um, that's really important uh, for you, Taurians, Tauruses. It's one or the other, isn't it? <laughs> In January 2021. So, that was that. Now let's have a look at, at February 2021 for the star sign of Taurus. An interesting thing happened earlier uh, today. <clears throat> I said to Alexa, Tell me something about the traits of Taurus. And she said, this is what I found on Wikipedia. Male Tauruses are stubborn. That's it. Right? So, 
Let's have a look at your February and see if stubbornness is actually a topic, a topic or not. <laughs> In February 2021, for Taurians, this is the time where you discover the truth about a lot of things. This is the time where things that have not been clear become clear. And because they become clear, you can finally move on to things or from things. So you will cross bridges that would have never crossed your mind to uh, uh, cross your mind to cross. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's cross the bridge when I find it. Okay. So what I'm getting in February for, for, for February for Taurians is just to realize that all of a sudden things around you make more sense. You're like, wow, this is what's going on. This is what's going on. So you, so you assess situations. And then because they talked about, you know, crossing bridges, maybe you can trust a little and go places that you haven't explored before. And, sounds horrible, have some balls. Go like, yeah, I'm going to do this even though I haven't done this before because that opportunity comes to me, that kind of stuff, that kind of thinking, and you will be fine. That's your February. Also important when the guides talk about um, <clears throat> discovering the truth and crossing bridges. This is also about healing, right? Because as you walk away from something, move on to something, from something, whatever still sits inside you that has caused you pain also needs to go in February or, or begin to go in February. Now looking at your March 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Tauruses, here we go. You have the moose and the snowy owl. So what the guides are saying to <coughs> Taurians in March is that things are still a tad slow, but while you're moving forward slowly and there's no like, yay, feeling this is all awesome, it's gonna work. What the guides are saying is, you're right, it is going to work, it's just slower. The pace is slower and you will be fine no matter what life throws at you. So don't, that's what I'm getting, don't lose patience because it's already March and you're still sort of bumping about, you know, knocking about. And uh, all the guides are saying is, this is all still divinely timed, so you're going to be fine, okay? So, looking at the star sign of Taurians going into your April of 2021. April is a moment where you need to make peace with the world as it presents itself to you. Because again, you know, we, we, we sort of talked about it just now. There seems to be a bit of frustration going on because things are not quite moving as swiftly and it feels like you're a bit stuck. You're not stuck. You just need to come back from all the knocks of life. And so you need some time to heal. And so does the rest of the world. So opportunities are just not flowing. If that makes sense. So they're asking you in April to not go into um, frustration and to see the good in the world. And also in April, because there is frustration in the energy, um, and you remember they talked about Taurians being a bit stubborn, whatever that means. What they're saying to you is don't carry your frustration openly, right? Make sure people don't misunderstand you. Make sure people do not unnecessarily offend it because you're pissed off with the world, right? So watch your, docu your, docu uh -huh. watch your communication. Can't talk. Watch your communication in April. But make peace 
with everything that you find in your world. Remember, and again, the guide said this again, it is divinely timed. You are not alone. You are supported. You just have to, have to hang in there. Okay? That was your April. Going into May of 2021, looking at the star sign of Taurus. Let's have a look. What the guides have got for you. Hey. Awesome. In May, you have what is called first light, which means it's the beginning of a new cycle. Now, finally, things get lighter, things get better. And you have the mystic healer, which means <coughs> while things get lighter now, healing energy flows through you. So what that means is that obviously that's what the universe said to you earlier. You know, you need to come back from the knocks of life. And because your energy is sluggish, healing can only be slower because you're not responding to it. And in May, since um, there is a lot of new beginning and you just feel like, yeah, more uplifting, um, also healing, therefore, can be dealt with faster. So May is the really, a really, really good month for Koreans. And my feeling is that this is also a much needed month for um, Koreans, right? So, June. Let's look at June 2021. Looking at the star sign of Taurus, you have the dog and the deer, which again, the message is to be loyal to yourself. Look after your needs and again, pace yourself, right? This is what I'm getting for you is because things were slow in May, you, you started running before you could walk. And all the guides are saying in June, that sort of behavior bites you in the back, right? And that's what they're saying to you is, is it's important to still pace yourself according to your energy, if that makes sense. Okay, so it's really important for Tauruses in 2021 to watch your energy at all times and acknowledge it just for what it is and just keep moving. Try to go with the flow, even if the flow is minimal. Okay. That was your June. Looking into July, going to July right now, looking at the star sign of Taurus. There you go. <laughs> in, in June, you, you still feel like, I want to pressure on, I want to yeah, go and do all these things. And all the guides are saying is, huh, didn't we talk about this? <laughs> what you need to realize in June, is that despite the fact that you feel this is a bit of a slow year and mm, not a lot really flows, look at how much progress you have already made in the first six months of the year for you to realize, wow, things are moving. So I'm getting impatience a lot as a topic for um, 2021 for Torians to look into patience and how to learn to deal with patience. Okay, right? Okay, going into July 2021, looking at the star sign of Taurus. This is your full 2020 monthly rundown energy reading. I always say that please keep watching the weekly videos I record because as nice as this is to look at a whole year, as you can tell, we're sort of running through it. Um, and in the weekly readings, even though it's still each separate each star sign um i find these readings the weekly ones to be a bit deeper and because everything has its energy and we talked about the, the 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 energy of the year um we are missing the energy of a specific week because there's just no time to reflect on this uh, because it would take forever to look at 52 individual weeks which is why I record the weekly videos so please subscribe to the channel follow the energy and stars and reading page on facebook okay <coughs> yeah i think we're going into july isn't it yeah 
July. Hope I get that right. <laughs> Looking into July, you have the bear and the puma. The bear, again, is all about you realizing that you still need to heal. There's a lot of stuff that sits inside you, which is also what, what causes this frustration, if that makes sense, right? And then you have the puma, which is also called the mountain lion, which is the idea is that you adopt very well to situations, very well to situations, and, and you are quite powerful. But both animals, the puma and the bear, are also or denote healing. Healing, healing, healing is really, really important for you in 2021. Okay. I just need to stop this for a second. I need to blow my, blow my nose and I will be back in one second. <laughs> Shall we do this again? <coughs> <coughs> my apologies for the mix up. Ah, Torians. Not easy. Going to the star sign of Torians, as we are, going to the month of September. In September, you are being asked to again continue to heal and to pace yourself. What is interesting about this year is that you may find it difficult to kickstart healing, to kickstart looking after yourself because you want to get going with things. And all they're saying is this is just not the year for Tauruses or Taurians, whatever the heck you call it, <coughs> to just pressure ahead because this will just not work. Um, what is important this year is, while they're not asking you to not do anything, um, to always pace yourself right, take care of yourself. Your self-care this year is really, really important. And now that we are in September, um, you still have a lot of healing that is coming out of you, a lot of stuff that you let go, a lot of cleansing happening uh, to you, um, and it needs to happen, right? Because as Taurians, you will probably, well, you know by now you are Taurian and a Taurus, that you will and you are very capable of just not talking about stuff and just not acknowledging stuff either. You just pressure on, you look after everybody else, you um, try to run 10 things at one, and all the guides are saying is it is another trait um, of Tauruses to at times sabotage yourself. And all the guides are saying is for your own sake, don't do this. The universe is trying to help you in 2021 while they're also helping you to, to achieve new things and get to new things. It is important to heal and allow yourself to have these moments, and there will be more than moments, um, of little breakdowns and, and, and you know issues, but healing is so important for Tauruses in 2021. Okie dokie, going into October 2021. See, that's better. Felt like after the pep talk that the guides just gave you. <coughs> in October, you are really, there's no such thing as being out of the woods because, you know, we are souls and we have an accumulation of lifetimes. So we have things inside us that are so old that we don't even know how the heck, you know, do I respond to this, <laughs> right? And all the guys are saying is, so don't think that, that, that the need for looking after yourself and, and having self-care um, ever ends. Even if you had a 10-year run of great years, it's really important to still look after yourself. And in October, they're saying to you, you have been very patient, uh, or you have to, you had to have been um, very patient in 2021. And in October, they're saying is, now you can reap the rewards. October is a really good month for you to realize, not only are you still there, but you also 
very, very strong still, and you can do a lot of stuff. So October is all about shaking things off and um, and doing things. So see if there, uh, if 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 you have another breakdown in, in November, or if you finally can can pressure on and go forward. So perfect. Come November, because in in October things finally get better for Tauruses. <coughs> In November, you just have to watch how you speak. Remember, communication was mentioned earlier. So, so don't be oh, okay, sorry, don't be an ass. <laughs> Make sure you communicate right, if that makes sense. Because you know, sometimes you know, being an overbearing star sign is just the way you came here. You know, you're not a negative star sign at all. You just don't take any crap, and sometimes. Um, when you hear people say stuff and they don't mean anything, they don't mean anything by it, you know, you go like, Ugh. and all the guys are saying to you in November, don't do that. Just make sure that you're communicating clearly and calmly. And the good thing is, every time you have an animal guide here, it's called a deity, an animal deity. And in November, you have the plural. You have all animal deities that you could ever wish for by your side. So November is the moment and the, and the, 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 the moment in time <clears throat> for Taurians, where you realize, I will not get stressed, I will not lose my cool, right? Um, and that's the focus you need to have. And a lot of positive high energy is around you in November. Going into your last months of the year, which obviously is December 2021. 20, Let's have a look. What the universe has got to say, and what the guides have got for you. Wow. It is weird because as a star sign, or even as a reader, um, I always hope that, that, that the good news come early in the year. Um, Taurus seem to have had a slow year uh, for, the, for the most part, and now come December, what they're saying to you is, now is the time to expand your horizons, and now is the time to get ready for new horizons. So what they're saying is now that you've been through all that crap, literally, all that pain, all that um, no idea why I can't move on here kind of thing, all that frustration in December is where you really see, in December 2021, where you really see where you're going and what you want to do, right? I can't even say I'm sorry that it doesn't happen earlier because I only work here. Whatever the guides say, they say, and it's all divinely timed. So I not, not I don't necessarily um, shouldn't necessarily feel sorry for you because it's just the way your year is. And yet there's a part of me, the human part, that is like it. It is hard when you um, get knocked about until almost October, and then things get better, and then at the end of the uh, of year. Christmas months kind of thing, <coughs> you go like, yeah, I know exactly what I'm going to do. <coughs> but look at it this way. At least you know exactly what you're going to do at the end of the year. Okie dokie. Again, sorry for the mix-up earlier. This happens to me. Um, you know, people who know me well know that my sugar can get low at all times. And that was just one of those cases. Um, at least I didn't talk Japanese backwards, <laughs> which means you know, at least I could, could communicate with you. Um, so again, sorry that I... Thought I went into July when it was in fact August. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to join uh, the Facebook page, Energy and Star Sign Readings, right? And remember to please watch um, the weekly uh, videos. And also, since you are subscribing and, and, and following uh, um, the page, hopefully, please share. It's really important. We're trying to reach as many people as you possibly can. So please, if you are drawn to a video, Please share it. Okay? Thank you so much. You're awesome. See you soon.